What's good, YouTube? You already know what it is. It's your boy, Damien. Yeah. What did you just call me? I asked you a question. The B-I-T-C-A. Why? Around like December, January, we was in some drama with my dad and my little brother. Hey, hey don't, hey. Bro, you better check my record, dog. I got locked up 10 times. You better check my record, dog. I just want to say, y'all don't know what goes on behind closed doors. You can't call somebody out when you can't throw the gloves on, bro. We can throw the gloves on. What you want to do? Yes, I'm what good, What you want to do? What y'all want to do? I fought my dad. I fought my uncle. Like said, throw the gloves on. Then we can do that. What's up right now? Get going with that, man. I'm going to be great. Hey, hey, chill. Don't. Bruh, don't start. A lot of people think, you know, beef was faking, but, you know, it's real beef, bruh. Baby number four, just tell her everything will be all right. Oh. There we go. Three, here she comes. Four. Congratulations, family. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Y'all not see the problem with this video? First of all, I just want to Y'all exposing where we live for real, for real, bro. Like, do y'all not see the front, the front of our house? <laughs> oh, what's wrong with you? Why would what the f is wrong with you? Ba it's a prank. And uh, I went back on and it said, you've been permanently banned because I violated community guidelines. Permanently banned due to multiple violations. Permanently? Permanently, that's what it says. But for what? I don't understand. So let's go, turn around now. So here we have the Prince family, led by Damien and Bianca Prince, and they are basically what you get when you turn the insanity meter to full Kanye. I am the number one most impactful artist of our generation. I am Shakespeare in the flesh, Walt Disney, Nike, Google. They basically combine the two worst things on YouTube, which are fake prank videos and toxic family channels. And when you start scripting family channel videos for maximum clickbait and shock value, you get a whole new level of crazy, which leads to them getting their videos taken down on YouTube, banned on other platforms, and reported all day long. People, they be reporting our YouTube channel too a lot, reporting our videos. Even if it's like a good video, people report it. So they feel like they're doing nothing wrong here. And if they were just making prank videos with the two of them, or running a wholesome family channel, that would would be fine. But the problem is they use the family angle to draw in millions of children and then proceed to make really f***ed up prank videos or simply inappropriate content. In fact, this channel is so f***ed up, it actually makes the Ace family seem normal. What does higher power want to tell me right now, right? Well, kind of. Anyways, the Prince family loves making messed up prank videos like giving your kid up for adoption. I call CPS. Why? Because I want to get both for What do you mean, why? Because I feel like it's too much for us. We already got two kids, man. Yeah, so good. And what about calling your girlfriend a bitch? It's the same thing. I didn't call you a bitch. I said you acting like a it's a different. Great stuff, man. So clearly, these quote-unquote prank videos are just weird, and to an adult, these videos just look stupid. But this is where the problem lies. These videos are not aimed at adults, they are aimed at children. So when you make a video like this, where grandpa beats the sh** out of his grandchildren... So let's go. Turn around now. That is simply messed up when it becomes this graphic. By the way, I did not add those sound effects, they did. So clearly they want to make an impact. And just imagine being eight years old and watching this shit, it looks fucking scary. So unfortunately, we've only scratched the surface here and things are about to get a lot worse. But before I show you these next clips, I want to address the fact that not only are they putting themselves and their children in a toxic environment with these videos, it's actually affecting their real lives. When we had fought, that was the beginning of January. January, February, March, April, May. It's been five months. Five months. I didn't talk to my dad. You didn't see your dad. I didn't see my dad. Not, like, bro, my birthday passed. Bianca birthday passed. You see, Damien and Bianca are having real issues with his father and half-brother because of all of these prank videos, which is already bad enough, but this toxic environment is also extending to their own relationship. But we had like home, like we had, we had, a, we had a, a break, separation. I would call it a, I would call it a break, more, but she basically, uh, what would you call it? Yeah, it's like a break. Like we didn't divorce, we didn't sign paperwork to divorce. We just needed a break from each other. Now couples that struggle within their relationship is very common and loads of people go through this. However, when you 
vlog, it makes things worse. And even the most wholesome vlogger, Casey Neistat, had this same problem. No, but she says publicly, she's like, you have no idea how close to divorce we were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if Casey Neistat is having real marital issues from creating normal, wholesome content, could you imagine the stress you're putting on your own relationship or marriage when you make over-the-top content on a daily basis and you are putting your kids in so many videos? This is just asking for a disaster. Maybe it explains why the Prince family has so many prank videos on breaking up or pretending to break up on their channel. You can fake it as much as you want, but at some point you're just lying to yourself and your relationship is actually fucked. When you make a movie, you are on set for a couple of months and then the movie is done and you get to go home, no matter how crazy the scenes were. But with these family channels, your house and your relationship is the actual set, so you never get to go home. This puts a massive burden on your relationship and on your children, which is why you need clear boundaries. But as you're about to see, the Prince family has no boundaries at all. You telling me that you want your brother Damon's wife and that you would take her from Damon? I will take her no matter what. So they titled this video, My 12 year old brother has a crush on Bianca, which means that they clearly want you to know he's 12 years old and that he wants his brother's 24 year old wife. I will take her no matter what. Now I thought it was a bit weird, and funny enough, Damien appears to think the same. That's weird. It's very weird, bro. Say it again. That's weird. It's kind of like uncomfortable weird. Like why would... That's, like, that's weird. Guys, comment down below right now. Like, am I, am I forcing it? Like, am I forcing it? Like, I feel like, why would you even title your video like that? Yes, I agree. It is weird. I'm glad you said this, Damien. So why the f*** do you make eight more videos on it, fully leaning into this sh with each video more crazy than the previous one? This one, for instance, is called Catfishing My 12-Year-Old Brother, where he's pretending to be Bianca. What should I write him? Uh, write him, like, hey, or like a smiley face or like something, you know? All right, I'll send him like a... All right, all right y'all, I'll send him a smiley face. Hopefully he write back, damn! See you already! Damn! On Instagram lurking, I see. So he's pretending to be a 24-year-old woman texting a 12-year-old boy here. And this is a family channel with tons of children watching this sh First of all, y'all, no homo, right? This is the homo because I'm, so, I'm the one who's typing. Yeah, but it's right. like I'm here, you know what I'm saying? I mean, plus that's your brother, so. I, I just had to say no homo. Oh, great. Luckily, he said no homo. Because for a minute, I was really worried that a grown-ass man pretending to be a 24-year-old woman catfishing a 12-year-old boy might be homosexual. Yeah, that was my concern. But okay, let's keep going because things get f***ing disgusting. Because I'm scared to say because... My brother said I'm too I'm too young to bust. What? Oh my gosh! What the heck? I'm scared to say because my brother said I'm too young to bust. Jesus Christ. So for anyone doubting what bust means here, yeah, it means exactly what you think it means. Man milk shooting out. This has now officially reached disgusting filth level, and they seem to have completely forgotten that they're talking about a 12-year-old here. Now I suspect that Damien's dad, this weirdo right here, is on the other end texting this shit. And I really hope this is the case. But even if this is the case, things have already gone way too far. It's no longer just about whether or not this 12 year old boy is actually texting the shit himself. You're pretending that he is and you're talking about him busting on his aunt, which is fucking crazy. Clearly nobody in his family thinks, hey, maybe the prank went too far, let's reshoot or just stop shooting and not upload this shit. But no, they just upload every thing as long as it gets views and makes money. And that's why they keep getting into fights. Bruh. Why you upload that video for? Your brother wanted to, well, we did a video. Your brother wanted to just let it be known how he feel. Why would you even let that video hit the internet for? Like, why would you even upload that to YouTube for? Well, first of all, he's 12 years old. So, I mean, you cool, right? I mean, you sound upset or something. I mean, you good? Yeah, you good, Damien? Because you sound like a fucking hypocrite. This guy's so fucking clueless, man. He calls out his own dad for uploading everything to YouTube while he's doing the same thing with this video. He even blames the kid for this whole situation. Like, listen to what he said. In the dream, we did everything that adults do. Mm -hmm. So you are visualizing you doing something with my wife that you're not supposed to be doing? Look how he's talking. Look how he's talking, bro. He visualizing doing some nasty stuff with my wife, bro. Like, that don't even make sense to me whatsoever. Yeah, clearly the kid is at fault here, right? Because we all know that a 12 year old has the responsibility to set boundaries. Somehow people are perfectly fine making this type of sh** when it's a young boy and an older woman. But just imagine making a prank about a 12 year old girl having sex with a 24 year old man. The world would f***ing explode. As a matter of fact, we don't have to pretend. Just look at this old Britney Spears interview that resurfaced a couple months ago, which caused a shitstorm and the interviewer got blasted for it. 
By the way, Britney is 17 in this clip, not 12. There's one subject we didn't discuss. Mm -hmm. What was that? Everyone's talking about it. What? Well, your breasts. Yeah, so you can imagine that people were disgusted with this and she was 17. So let me know in the comment section what's worse. Anyways, so after they made this fantastic video, they continued with this whole narrative by uploading Bianca broke up with me over my 12 year old brother, 1v1 winner gets Bianca, and spying on Bianca and my 12 year old brother with a thumbnail that clearly suggests they are kissing. There's definitely something wrong with them because they have no boundaries. But hey, it's no surprise, since a while back they actually uploaded a now deleted video. See if you can spot the problem with this particular masterpiece. And remember, there are kids watching this shit. Yo, B! Bianca! B! Bianca! Yo, Dad, bro! Bro! Bianca, wake up! B, wake the f up! Yo, get in here! Yep, the classic dead wife prank. This shit is so f***ed up if you think about the fact that it's aimed at children because yes, it's obviously fake, they all suck at acting and she starts the video herself but kids don't have this level of critical thinking and they can get sucked into this dead wife narrative real fast. We saw this problem with the whole killer clown disaster on YouTube a few years ago. It's so creepy. This isn't even cool, dude. Bro, like, those are the no! Oh, he's looking at the f***ing camera! <laughs> where kids were freaking the f out and started calling police to go to these houses because they thought the people were actually being killed so them making this shit as a family brand is just f***ed up on so many levels and it's not as if they don't know this because they were actually getting demonetized and had multiple videos taken down in the past but somehow they saw this as a point of pride crazy prank videos that nobody else was willing to go push it to that limit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But the craziness doesn't just stop here. It actually hits on a second problem concerning family channels, and that is milking your kids for content. Because when they are not pretending that she's having an affair with a 12-year-old boy, they are using the same kid to be in love with what they call his sister. Here they are again hardcore spamming the words 12-year-old and the words brother and sister in all of these video titles to imply some weird in shit. However, in this situation, the boy and the girl aren't even blood relatives at all. The girl is Damien's stepsister, the daughter of his stepfather, and the boy is Damien's half-brother from his real dad. The two children do not have the same mom, so there is absolutely no blood there, but they sure as hell try to make it seem more f***ed up than it actually is. And even if there was some sort of real blood connection here, that would only make this shit worse, not better. Because why the hell would you even push the whole 12-year-old brother and sister angle in the first place? Anyways, when you look at their channel, you might think, well, at least they're not putting their children into every single video. They're giving the kids a break every now and then. Well, think again. Because when you see a gap like this on their main channel, all you have to do is switch to the Clubhouse channel, and there you have it, the kids delivering videos non-stop. Now, if you look at their more recent uploads, they are ramping up production big time, making multiple videos a day with the kids, and making all of these videos must be very tiring for these kids, because somehow they just keep drowning every single time. So this is one of the kids drowning three months ago with mom to the rescue and somehow she instantly regrets it. But here we have the kid drowning again and what happens next is shocking. Oh no, I'm so shocked. What I actually did find shocking was their 12 year old catfishing video, but somehow that video did not qualify for the word shocking. I wonder why. So clearly there are multiple problems in the whole family channel industry and just like crypto advertising, family channels need some regulation ASAP. Not only are you dealing with kids that simply can't give consent for being on camera 24-7 every single year, but it's also simply not healthy. We have so many YouTubers that burn out and take multiple breaks from vlogging because they simply want to be off camera for a bit, and these are adults. So imagine being a kid that's growing up under these circumstances, being on camera for years and years, it's just f insane.